Yeah, it's a um, great match, really a great match. And Colorado played uh, some wonderful volleyball, especially in the, uh, in the third and fourth sets. And um, very proud of our team to, um, you know, compensate and adjust and uh, really figure out what we needed to do to assert ourselves in that fifth set and, um, you know, get, get a chance to win it. So it was uh, a very, uh, very cool environment to play in. The path is wonderful and the crowd gets going and uh, our athletes responded appropriately, appropriately excuse me, and, and were at their best when their best were need, was needed. And uh, it's, it just was an exciting night for Dover Volleyball. So happy with the win and excited to move on to the next phase of the tournament. Questions? Tori, can you take me through that moment? Uh, tough game all around, but getting that kill at the end from the middle, watching it so wide, what's going through your head? Um, well, I know it's sit up there, and I'm perfect that she's pretty comfortable setting uh, the middle. We work on it in practice and stuff, so um, we just do what we do every day in practice, transition off and get available, and it just worked out well, so happy for that. Dolly, you look pretty fired up throughout the entire match. Talk about just the overall emotion of, you know, being in the NCAA tournament and moving <clears throat> on to Speed 16? Um, I feel it's, it's great playing here, and it's it's definitely awesome playing every day with you know my teammates, and I just, <laughs> it's, it's just great to be here. So whenever we, we get points, it's, it's just good. You had a little trouble early on with your serving, and you kind of, <laughs> got that fixed up. What, what yeah. happened with that that, that kind of sniper, stutter sniper, step? Sniper. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? It, it happens. I mean, I, I'm going to make sure I keep practicing, you know, so that doesn't happen again. Um, but good thing is I tried not to get too off the game because of that. So I, I try to, get, to stay focused and um, to make up for that. So. And, and just so you know, it's... You know, we've seen Dally serve, I don't know, if not tens of thousands, but something close to of serves in the last year that I've been, you know, 15 months. It's the first time that's ever happened. And uh, I've also seen uh, in the international arena some of the best players in the world, you know, they, they get a little clip, they trip, they hit the front of their shoe, and it just upsets the rim, and all of a sudden they're out. So it's not unique, uh, and it's certainly something that doesn't happen often, but to Dally's credit, uh, she turned her around and gave us that string in the second set and gave us enough distance to win. So uh, hopefully we can make that the focus of uh, Dally Serve. Coach, talk about you know, this is a Colorado team that you guys kind of had your rhythm going early on, and, and then they eliminated all their attack errors. They, in that fourth set, I think they had one attack error in the, in the Yeah, they, set. they cleaned up uh, big time. And then they, they spun the dial a little bit. They got We got into some different matchups. So uh, I think. In the first two sets, really, the serve serve receive battle was the thing that was getting us what we wanted in terms of, uh, you know, the, the, the point scoring. Um, you know, when they spun the dial, all, all the matchups, like I said, got got to be a little bit different. And, and uh, offensively, uh, they did some really nice things. And, and we, uh, as I was telling our athletes, were trying to make so much happen with each swing that we were just forcing the play. Uh, and, and uncharacteristically, I thought, making a lot of errors. Um, Fourth set, a little more of an even battle, but still their offense was very, very clean, and, and that's a credit to them. And, and then in the fifth, I just think, like I said, we were able to assert ourselves from the service line, and that gave us the chance to find some good side out them after that. I think our passing was certainly much better in the fifth than it was in the third and fourth. Do you feel like you're ready for the, the size of Pac-12 volleyball after playing a big team like Colorado when you get Stanford next? Sure. And, and at this stage of the tournament, we really um, – this, this year, especially, I think there's a significant parity across the whole country in women's volleyball. And, uh, we, um, we weren't expecting any of these matches to be easy, uh, and certainly not tonight. You know, this is a team that's beaten uh, uh, Washington, who at one point was ranked uh, maybe they were one, if not they were two. So, uh, you know, Colorado is a, is a good volleyball team. They have some very talented pin hitters, and they have uh, some very good quick hitters, they have a nice center, and then they can play. And so for us to think that it was going to be a sweep or somehow be easy would be naive. Now, moving into next weekend, if we, I don't know the results. I don't know if uh, Stanford's played or not. But, yep, uh, Stanford. Okay, so uh, 
uh, we're happy to play stand. I think it's great. And uh, you know, we'll put a play together. And as far as they're, you know, they could be from Mars. If it happens they're from the Pac-12, it doesn't matter. You know, in what conference they're from. Bottom line is we know they're an exceptionally good volleyball team. I also feel pretty good about our team as well. Um, I like our group. And to grind out a win like this tonight in this environment was uh, was big for us. We, we respect all of our opponents, but we're not afraid of them. Coach, you went, went, you went to, uh, away from Katie there in the fourth and fifth set and put in Sid. What did you like about Sid coming in? Uh, <clears throat> Well, we, we've used Sid before with, with success against Michigan State when we got into some side out issues there. I just think Katie was getting a little overwhelmed. Defensively, she was having some issues, and, and I think that was bleeding into her setting. And, uh, you know, we, we need our setters to be uh, composed, and we certainly want them to be able to throw up something hittable. And, and I think it was just getting pretty big for her, which is understandable. This is a freshman, and we're playing single elimination volleyball. Um, but, for Sid to come in and you know just keep us ticking over the way she did, I thought it was great, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in her. And uh, it's certainly one of the great things about the group that we've developed is we have uh, three setters that that we can put in at any time. So great match by her, but not a surprise. Tori and Ashley, kind of a question for you both, but this is your last game in the past. <coughs> what does this mean to kind of go out with the win? Uh, for me, it's awesome, and it's been a privilege to play in front of all these fans. And four years and you know coming out with the win in the NCAA tournament it's awesome and now I can't wait to go on and you know play in the Sweet 16 but it's been a great ride. Yeah the path is just an awesome place to play like there's honestly nowhere like it and I just been blessed with the opportunity to play here for the past four years and I didn't kind of realize it until he was at the end <laughs> it's like the seniors it's your last time playing here and then I'm like oh well that sucks but <laughs> you know move on.